friends in the previous video we have seen how we can add the menu and sub menu to organize our content in WordPress application now we are going to discuss how we can post any information on the web application which we have designed or created with the help of WordPress let me make one thing very very clear here that WordPress supports two things one is that you can create the static page and also you can post any content on your application so it it works or it helps to organize your content just as a blog and also as a website there is a slight difference between blog and website generally the website contains the static or dynamic information which remains constant unless or until we keep updating the another part is the blog where we keep posting the small information or information which rotates in the descending order or ascending order as per the our setting there it will rotate on the same pace the oldest one will go down and the newest one will come up and we keep posting the information so in this video we are going to discuss how we can create the post using the wordpress and also how we can create the content or the page in wordpress website so let's get started and see how we can do this to create any post or to add any post to the page first one has to log in and get this admin page once you are inside the admin page you will find many options at the left side and one of them is post so you just click on all post let me clarify the difference between post and page page is uh, just like a separate page where we add the content and it remains as it is unless or until we change it the same way the post is just like a diary pages where we add the content and it rotates from ascending to descending or descending to ascending order at, and it remains in the order month wise or date wise or as you want to keep it so the difference between page and post is that page always remains constant under one heading post keeps changing once new post is added to the page it, the old one will go down and it will remain in the descending order or ascending order as per your setting in the wordpress so let me tell you there is already one post uh, created here and uh, the look you can have hello world welcome to wordpress this is your first post edit or delete then start writing so i am not going to delete it i'll simply i'll just select this and edit it and i'll name it as the seventh virtual workshop or workshop on word uh, wordpress like that I'll, I'll just change the name so i'm going to change the name as workshop on wordpress to design blog this is my post heading and uh, I'm going to add some content welcome to this seventh virtual workshop on WordPress thanks for participating in this workshop hope the content provided in this workshop is useful for the purpose likewise the content can be added and it can be make can be made bold or in different color so 
uh, there are actually less options available here we will uh, discuss uh, when we dis when we start discussing about the plugin so we can have more option in order to format this so with this uh, option i am just uh, changing it little bit but it can be enhanced by adding some more plugin option and uh, finally uh, we can save it just click on update so what will happen the content of this post will get updated and now if you refresh the page so it will show the content uh, whatever we make made changes uh, we can see here that uh, the content whatever we made uh, changes works up on wordpress to design blog welcome to seventh virtual workshop and whatever the changes we have made it is appearing here now let me uh, go back to the admin section and uh, create one more post so either i can go here or directly i can click on add new and it will allow me to add the post now oh, the workshop videos on youtube for example i give this hello friends the workshop videos uh, videos will be available on librarian guide at YouTube anyone can download watch and download it for offline use thanks for watching and also downloading the link videos Likewise, I added the information and I just click on publish. So it will get published and now you will notice that the older, the old post will go down and the new post what we added just now will come up. You see here works of videos on YouTube and the older one has gone down so I am trying to draw the attention here that it keeps changing as per the updating updation on the page old old post will go down and the new post will appear on the top let me have discussion about two more things which are given in the post the category and tags these two options help to categorize the post and also to tag them in order to enable the searching with, uh, with more strong features so first let us go and create the category of post sometimes what happens suppose you are maintaining the blog and you may have the different category like library automation digitization web designing linux you are dealing with so many things so you can have them as it is and uh, for example i add one category library automation and i'll just click on add new category so what will happen you can notice that one category is added here and i can create one more like web designing and I'll just create add new category okay so next time when I create the next time when I create the post plugin for WordPress there are thousand of plugins available at 
ORG which can be downloaded to enhance the look and feel of the website and uh, below that it can be written thanks LG okay now you can see one change here that category which we defined is appeared appearing here so I can choose the category according to my post and click on publish so what will happen it will get saved into this category and when we go and watch it on the front page you will notice at the right side that my category is listed so if I click on this it will show only the relevant the post and it will not show all the post so this is one kind of arrangement or one kind of content organization as per the category wise the same way it can also be enhanced for example web designing and if you add the tag to this post anyone searches with web designing will be able to see this post so let us update this page so in this way the post can be created it can be categorized and it can also be enhanced with tag for more advanced searching so I hope the discussion about the post will be useful for the purpose thanks for watching this video stay updated with librarian guide for more updates